Yo, what's going on, suckers? Uh, Tough Desperado, back bringing you guys another video. Uh, today, we're just going to be running some League and talking about what we know about the new anniversary, what I hope to see, and all the things of that sort. See you guys in the game when we just get... All right, Brate Night, one of the best stages. What are we looking with? Hmm. Bunch of red. Should be good. All right, well, let's get into what we really want to talk about. The two-year anniversary. Probably the most hype last year when the first EXs dropped. Really kind of took me by surprise and we know that there is a new one coming and it is confirmed that it's odin if you guys want to check on uh the bounty rush twitter page they dropped a little teaser video for that today let's hope he's a green ex we need a green ex we don't need another blue i wouldn't mind another red but we desperately need a green ex it's what like we just need balance we need to have like all the pokemon types <laughs> taken care of here like Fire beats green, or fire beats grass, grass beats water. We got a lot of water, we got some fire, we ain't got no grass, you know what I'm saying? Let's see if I can capture this point real quick. But you guys already know what I'm gonna say right now, save your gems. Even if you only have 100, throwing it at the wall in the EX banner, which is gonna have all the legendaries unfeatured, is gonna be better than just like throwing them at Zoro and Sanji, or these Uro, Corazon, like x Drake banners. It's Do yourselves a favor, Get them white. Get at least give yourself a chance at them. Otherwise, you're gonna be one of these babies on the subreddit that's crying that they don't have the EX. They're OP. That they're unpowerful. At this point, we all knew they were coming. We all knew what to save for. I understand if you're like one of those chads that don't want to use the EX just because you want to say that you're better than everyone. But it's time to stop whining about it. Yes, you can complain, but I, you're gonna see if you go on the subreddit in the next like week, it's gonna be ten thousand posts about being like, oh, the new EXs, they're so broken. You fucking loser if you use them. Don't be one of those guys. Save your gems. Throw them towards the next EX banner. It's We got three days until the campaign starts. I don't think they'll come out directly on the 21st. I think they'll come out a few days later, probably towards the end of January. But do yourselves a favor. Also with the update, we know... or Wow. Well, also with the two-year, we know we're getting an update. One of the things that's coming with that update is we're going to have team boss battles, which is actually going to be really cool. You're going to be able to like invite your friends to play with you so that way like boss battle doesn't suck as much as it has sucked. You won't have just 100% incompetent teammates anymore. Maybe actually get your crew involved a little bit. With that, I hope that they, like, I hope this is a precursor so that way they drop, like, team league battles at some point. Make SS really actually competitive. I feel like this game could be, like, something like, you know, remember how, like, Dragon Ball Legends had, like, all those, like, that worldwide competition where they just fought each other? It'd be really cool to see something like that in BR where, you like, there's, like, teams actually go up against each other. It'd be super cool. Also, I believe it's soft confirmed, if not already confirmed, that uh, uh, Roger is also going to be dropping probably after Odin. They're probably going to do what they did with Blackbeard, drop Odin up top, get everybody to spend their money, and then drop uh, Roger to try to get everybody to buy gems. So if you like Roger more than Odin, save your gems. You know what to do. Ooh, this is actually like, this is a somewhat decent game so far. That bow might be your problem. Ooh, maybe not. Oh, big mama, big mama, no. Oh, she kind of got fucked. Like, that's not even fair. And now I'm going to die. But, I mean, what do you want to do? That new bow is kind of broken. Like, I got her to five star the other day, and she's actually really good, even at five stars. Oh, I'm dead. No, oh, maybe not. If I can if I can kill that rogue, I think we can get this five right going. Nice. Uh, it was a guaranteed dub, I want to say. Ooh, I did die. I gotta give the team a good job. Whew! Alright, that was a decent game. We got to talk about a good amount. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna jump into one more game. There's a few more things I want to talk about that I'd like to see in the update. Get you guys prepared for, so I'll see y'all in the next game. Alright, we're back. Looks like a lot of red again. <laughs> I'm running. I'm gonna make a video on this probably tomorrow, but I'm gonna make a dedicated video of running the second most cantrips in the game, which is Big Mom and Shanks. Uh, my boy Darkstar dropped a video, I believe it was today, doing the the first most cantrips, which is Blackbeard and Shanks. I'm gonna go ahead and link that in the description below if you guys want to check that out. So I'm gonna do kind of like a not a follow up, but more of like a response to that as the second most cantrips. But I might even it might even be the most cantrips with the red heavy meta that there is right now. But there's what else I'd like to see in the new year uh, or in the new anniversary like update. I would love some new summon animations. Like just the crew running in by itself is, isn't good enough. Like 
I don't know if any of you guys play any other gacha games like Doken. Like, remember how shit Doken's le- or Doken's animations used to be, and they really stepped up their game like more towards when uh, Legends came out with how good their animations are. I'd really like to see like I'm not asking for Legends quality animations because that's that's reaching for the stars. But at least give us Doken quality. Like they have a few different things. Like you could have like OPTC has like Luffy where you can go like gear, up to gear four and you're getting like guaranteed Sugos or something like that. It'd be cool to see something like like that implemented or like maybe you pull back and instead of Luffy running in, it's like Zoro running in with a bandana or like I don't know like Sabo and the Revolutionaries or something cool like that. Like I I don't have too many ideas on the topic, but like just something new. Just something cool. Like, maybe, like, an EX guaranteed animation where it's, like, Luffy's coming in in Gear 4 with, like, Bounce Man or Snake Man or something like that. Or, like, if he comes in, like, Gear 2nd, he's got, like, the the steam and whatnot. And then, like, let's say you get a guaranteed EX, he's coming in in Gear 4th. Or maybe, like, it, when he runs in, instead of, like, the entire crew with him, it's, like, the Monster Trio. That means you're getting, like, four or th- three, four stars guaranteed. Something like that would be, like, super cool. I don't think we're gonna win this game. I'm just calling it off top, calling it off rip. I maybe mean, with this team, team bonus, I can do something. Ooh, sorry, Rogue. Whoa, how did he? All right, I mean, we just kind of cluster fucked him. But uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm excited about this new animation. I'm definitely making videos like a bunch on it. Like you're definitely gonna see all my summons. But I want to go ahead and reiterate to y'all to save your gems. If you want Roger or you want potentially the better of the two EXs, save your gems. Don't get like, they'll probably do a hundred hour limited like bonus summon for Odin when he comes out. If you guys like, don't be enticed to drop everything on that just because it's a hundred hours. They're doing that on purpose. So they can join, then drop the other EX or a more hype unit right afterwards. So you'd actually have to spend your money to get the gems. So just keep that in mind. I know some people like Odin better than they like Roger. I don't necessarily know a lot of those people, but I mean, they're out there, right? Like, they gotta be out there. Um, ooh, I just thought of, like, a cool summon animation idea. Like, what if they dropped, like... Like, when you pull back, you get, like, some sort of, like... They changed it from, like, a run-in to, like, maybe, like, it shows, like, certain bounties. Like, I don't know if anybody wants to watch the new episode. I'm not gonna spoil anything, like, in terms of specifics. We got some bounties in them. And what if they just showed, like, depending on, like, the bounty poster that it shows, you get something cool. Like, the, the better the character, the better the, like, reward. Something like that would be really cool to see. I just want, like... I don't know. I'm kind of sick of the boring animations. Like, the game's two years old now. There's not much of an excuse for it anymore. Like, it's not brand new anymore. It's time to update those animations. We need them. Enough people play them. It'd be fun. To, it may be a little bit more fun to make videos on. Like, I think it'd just be cool to, like, pull back and you get, like, Gear 4 Luffy. And you're like, oh, I'm getting something. Instead of just seeing the whole crew running, you're just like, okay, cool. I get a four star. But that's my thoughts on the, just on the, what we know about the anniversary right now. I'll definitely up to you guys if we learn anything else. I'm definitely going to do my best to make a video tomorrow at latest the next day. But I'm trying to like, try to pump out a few of them in the next few days. So uh, let me know if you guys have any thoughts or comments down below. Anything like that. Any suggestions, anything. Any shit talks. I'm down for it. Let me know. But this is going to be Tethys Rod outside now. Peace, guys.